Hey everybody, Bearded Rogue here, doing another unboxing in Oregon video. Uh, we're moving on to box five. Um, this one's a pretty short box, so hopefully this will be a short video unless I see something that gets me talking. So, let's get to it. Alright, so the first game is Zombie Dice. This is just a fun little pressure luck dice game that you can take anywhere. Uh, in a very tiny soda can sized container. I have the old cardboard version. They have newer plastic versions. Um, I think the expansion dice are in here as well. Uh, but zombie dice, it's not a very sophisticated game, but it's a fun little pressure luck game that you can play with anyone and bring basically anywhere. Um, next, we have... Kill Dr. Lucky. Kill Dr. Lucky is like reverse clue. Um, in this case, you're all people who have been wronged by Dr. Lucky in some way, shape, or form, and you're trying to get him alone inside of his mansion so that you can murder him for his inheritance money. Um, the trick is, is that you can't let anybody else see you do that, and as such, you have to kind of plan your line of sight and follow his pre-programmed movement through the mansion to find uh, where he is and uh, how to uh, best get him alone to do the deed, as it were. Um, other people can play cards to keep him from dying, some of which have the most hilarious flavor text I've ever seen. Um, but uh, really, really cool game. I have the End His Little Dog 2 expansion, which came in it as well, which makes the game a little bit more difficult uh, because the dog, of course, won't let you kill his master either, so you have to kind of deal with that. Um, next I have Paperback, uh, by Tim Fowers, as it says right there. Um, this is a, uh, game that I have yet to play. Um, I just got it right before I packed all my games up. Um, it is a deck building game, uh, wherein you are making words. And, uh, I guess it's, it's prequel. Hardback is on, uh, Kickstarter right now, um, but... Uh, I've heard lots of good things about paperback, and I can't wait to get it to the table. Um, let's see. Next. Man, this is a pretty good box. There's not very many games in it, but it's a pretty good box. Takanoko. This is uh, Antoine Bowser's uh, Panda Eating Bamboo game. It's a very simple set collection, goal completion, uh, tile laying game. Um, this is another one that I can break out with pretty much anyone. I've used this as a gateway with a lot of different people, um, and it makes a huge difference uh, to have a game that's lighter weight that you can just bring out and play with people that also is a good game in its own right. I don't have the expansion for this yet. Um, I really want it with the, um, the lady panda and all of the little baby pandas. I think that will uh, be extra fun and even more cute, but... Uh, this is the old version, so it's in the rectangle box, as opposed to the newer versions are in a square box, but uh, this is a game I'm really glad to have on my shelves for playing with newer gamers. Um, next, Ninjato. This is a very interesting and different worker placement game. Everybody plays as a ninja clan, um, and uh, you're trying to curry favor with the nobles and raid houses and complete jobs and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, your workers are throwing stars, big wooden throwing stars, which is really fun. Um, they can stack uh, with each other in certain areas of the board. Um, I haven't played this one nearly enough. Uh, I've only played it one time. I need to play it some more. Um, but I like worker placement games, and this interesting theme uh, drew me in, so Ninjato. Next. All right, now we're getting into the really good stuff uh, inside of this box. These next three are games that I'm super excited to have in my collection. So the first one is Role Player. Um, Thunderworks, uh, or, uh, yeah, Thunderworks games. Um, this one uh, is extra special to me because I went to BGGCon in the hopes of getting a copy of it. Um, and, uh, was quickly informed by the people at the exhibit hall that they, that nobody had it. It wasn't in stock anywhere. A lovely gentleman, uh, who, uh, overheard my plight at lunch 
said, hey, I'm planning on going to some of the local game stores in the area. Um, I'll go check it out and see if they have a copy. And if you want one, you know, do you want me to buy it for you? Um, so we called and confirmed they had a copy. He went, he picked it up. I gave him cash money in exchange for it and uh, came home from BGG Con with a copy of Role Player. Um, I have the uh, Frogkin expansion promo thing in here as well, um, and I'm really happy to have this one. Um, it is a little bit random because it's a dice game, um, but there's a lot of manipulation in the dice and a lot of ways to mitigate the randomness. Um, I really like this game. The theme of generating a D&D character being a game is uh, super appealing to me as a former role player guy, and so this I'm really happy to have this in my collection. Um, next, speaking of really happy to have in my collection, the networks from Gil Hova. Um, Gil, other than being uh, one of my wonderful uh, companions on my Breaking Into Board Games podcast, is a publisher. He's the publisher on our podcast. The Networks is uh, a amazing game. Amazing game. Uh, I played this um, at multiple different player counts in prototype form um, and absolutely loved it. Couldn't wait to get it. Backed it on Kickstarter, picked it up. I'm eagerly awaiting the Executives expansion that's going to be on Kickstarter maybe later this year. I don't know exactly. Um, but this is a phenomenal game. It's a open draft, um, and uh, you're building your channel lineups. Um, the theme is totally unique. The names of the shows are punny and clever. Um, it's just all around a great game. Full packages here. The artwork, the components, the rules, everything. I love this game, and I'm so glad I have it. Um, and I'm so glad that Gil has had as much success with it as he has, because he deserves it. Speaking of success, and having a lot of success with a game, this is my copy of Vast, The Crystal Caverns. Um, Vast and I have a bit of a history. I actually am quoted on the, uh, second edition game box as saying that this game knocks my socks off. That's still true to this day. Um, this game, I've got the cool little Kickstarter sleeve for the first edition. Um, this game is unlike anything else in my collection. It is completely asymmetrical. Um, it's completely, uh, completely different depending on which role you are playing in the game. And that is a, an amazing feat. Like, the fact that they were even able to pull it off is amazing. Uh, the fact that it works as a game is amazing. The fact that it's really, really good is also amazing. Um, the second edition recently shipped out to stores uh, and sold out at distributor level, I believe. Third edition is going to be printing. They're also, they did a Kickstarter that's going to be adding miniatures that I cannot wait to add to my game, as well as the upgrade pack that will take my first edition and add some of the rules, clarifications, and misprint corrections and stuff that they did in the second edition. Um, Leader Games has been supporting this phenomenally, um, and it's... Uh, it's, it's a runaway hit, as far as I'm concerned. It's one of the best games uh, I played in the last year, and um, the artwork on it, uh, it gets a special mention, um, because uh, Kyle Farron did a just mind-blowingly good job on the artwork for this game. It stands out from the pack so much. It's so unique, um, and uh, the inclusiveness and diversity in the characters, uh, including the planned characters and the upcoming expansions and stuff. Just, this is a game that put its company on the map, and it's a company that deserves to be on the map. I'm excited to see what's coming next from them. Um, but Vast the Crystal Caverns is in my collection, and it's here to stay uh, for the foreseeable future. Probably until Leader Games releases something uh, that may... Uh, dethrone it as the king of asymmetric gameplay. We'll see, though. Anyway, that's it for box number five, so uh, I will talk to you guys later when we open box six. Bye, guys.